good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be in the world or what time you're watching this it's morning here actually it's afternoon isn't it felix we wake up late so something popped in my head yesterday driving to work that's always when i have my ideas and i lose my mind and can't jump in and do this i just want to have a heart to heart with you guys today and i want to show you something that's going to be so beneficial not only to you but to us who view your models <coughs> <coughs> oh here we go this is a an episode of model car hobby headquarters but it's vlog like i'm gonna kind of complain about something but i'm gonna show you how to improve it this is how it is i got something i want to show you because you build your beautiful model and you go to your show to show it and you want to display it and show all the other little model car guys how good you are and the neat thing you made meet up with these dudes and talk about what you've done and this model's just fantastic and then you do this Come on, man, please. I'm going to show you something really simple that any of you can do for next to nothing in money and almost less time, and it'll just improve the look of you displaying your model, keep your hood propped up without a freaking toothpick. Please stop the toothpicks. I'm just begging you. Please stop the toothpicks, and I'm here to help. I'm, here, I'm not here to criticize. I'm here to help you. All right, my fellow car modelers, this is what I do to prop up a hood, okay? I won't use a wood toothpick because to me, the wood toothpick just takes the whole uh, look of what we're striving for is realism in a scale form like this Camaro here. And then you put a wood toothpick in there and it just it blows the whole image. So let's get this hood up, off of here. I have to do a little persuading of it oh jeez, oh, we don't want to scratch the paint so there we go and just before i go over it this this model is going to be in probably my next lucas builds so i'm not going to get into talking about it's actually going to be in the next couple of videos i'm going to do so we're not going to get into this model particularly it's just the model modeling hood props so I don't have hood hinges on this, so let's just do this, and I'll show you. I use this device right here, something that I made, and I'm just going to show you guys how easy it is to make something that just looks so much better, if I can get this all fit here. Again, I picked a car without hood hinges, so that's where I'm just ridiculous, but... It's a little awkward, but you get my drift. Here, let's get you a lower shot here. i show you. You see how much better that is? I think that's ten times better. That just looks better. And it's so easy to do with just common stuff you probably have at your bench that you have for doing any kind of scratch building. That's better than wood toothpick. I, it's just, again, the wood toothpick just... You, it, takes the sails out of, out, of, out of the wind and we hate that just think you know you have a wood toothpick there bam you lose all the illusion of being a real car you know in scale and that's what we, we strive for is to have these cars look like they're the real thing you put a wood toothpick in there and it, it blows the scale out and just the whole image is gone do this it looks better and you know you could just put a piece of wire i see guys put aluminum tube which just essentially is it but this is just kind of a funner little zing that uh that i do and i got the inspiration of these for you know when i was a mechanic we used to use hood props you know these things that we'd get from the tool truck that were just basically telescoping hood props for people whose hinges wouldn't hold up anymore. That was the whole idea. I thought, this looks so much better, and I've used them for years at the shows with any model that I would display. It just it just looks better than trying to hold it up with a toothpick, or even just a single piece of rod. It just, it just adds a little more scaled-down realism. That's my thinking. Let me show you what I did. All right, so basically what I do here... It's pretty easy to see what it is. It's just some tubing and uh, a brass wire stock I have. I 
always keep a, a bunch of them. I make different lengths and sizes, and I keep them in a bag like this in the box that I carry my uh, models with that I take to shows or any other type of model outing, and I want to display them. And uh, I just keep them in the box that I carry them with. So let's make another one. So all you need is that, that, an X-Acto knife, uh, cutters, and some electrical tape. This is so simple. So I'm going to take this piece of tubing here. And I don't know, how, how long are these? They're about, kind of go by one of these here. We'll make it yeah, right about there. So I've showed this in past videos. You can do this with plastic. You can do this with aluminum. I just roll with the exacto knife. Sometimes you don't even have to cut all the way through, but it, it went all the way through. And then you just snap it. Do that simple. And I think I'll take it. Let's see how long are some of these. Let's take it right about there. Let me get cutters. We'll cut this right there. And then, you know, we just kind of stick it in there and basically it telescopes. So we're going to drop a little bit of glue in there. Just a little super glue to uh, make it so it doesn't move so much anymore. So a little dab of super glue on there if you can see. And we'll just go ahead and slide it on into place. There we go. I'll make it about that big. Before the super glue sets up, you can usually get a nice adjustment. But there it is. It's all set. A little crooked. You can bend it. It's metal. There you go. And then I usually just for, you know, to make it look like it has the little rubber stoppers on it. I'll take some of this electrical tape. Let's cut some of this tape off. Here. You take the piece of tape, I just put it down on the pad right there. Stick it down a little bit. Take my straight edge. Let's see, we'll go right about there. And we'll just slice across there and it makes a little strip. That's probably all we're going to need for both ends right there. And we take one end, put the piece of tape right there, and just went go, go around a bit, just to make a bit of a knob there. And we can trim it off right there. Do that. See that? And if you want to, you can either you know, kind of pull it a little bit over and around if you can, or get a little more tape on the end there to cover that. But that that doesn't really get seen. It's just a it's just an aesthetics thing. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't make the prop better. It just looks better. Hide your cut lines, and it looks like the rubber protection on the end of the the prop so that it doesn't scratch the paint of the car you know on the real thing so we're going to go ahead and let that roll around and roll around there we go we made a bit of a rubber stopper right there and there it is it's that simple it's done finished now i got a fifth one which is always handy and there we go. We've got our hood prop. Looks a lot better than a wooden toothpick. I say. Okay, so we'll bring back the demo model here. And uh, let's go ahead and let's get up under here and get this hood back off. And do our little test run with our new prop. There we go. 
we've got ourselves a new prop. It's that simple, folks. That simple, that cheap, and you don't have that hideous uh, piece of wood holding up that totally blows the whole scale image of your model sitting there at the uh, show. And, you know, we want to show our stuff off and present it the best way we can. So, you know, you spend all that time on the model, take a little bit more time, do something like this, and you've got yourself a better look. See that? Isn't that better? That's a better look. So there you have it. Simple as that. Doesn't that look so much better? Makes me feel better. I'm here to help. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. I'm not here to criticize. I'm not here to be mad or nothing. I want you guys to do the best that you can. That's what my advice is. That's why I do this and show tips to help you better your hobby and your enjoyment in the hobby. What can I say? <clears throat> yep, cold as usual. So let's wrap this up. I just want to say thank you to my producers. You guys, again, I keep on saying, you guys are so much help on this channel. Thanks for your support. If you want to become a producer, go on to my Patreon. Link in the description below. Help out any way you can. But we're building a community. We're starting to do some content that is just for the producers. It's just me one-on-one -on -one with those guys. Kind of spitballing some ideas and just kind of... I'm going to start giving some little more uh, other videos that you might not see on the YouTube channel for a while. And of course, the other big way to support this channel is to just flat out subscribe. Ring that dingy bell or whatever it is so you know when I put up a video, you find out right away and you get on there and you watch it and get it out of, out of the way and out of your life and move on hopefully with more knowledge <laughs> when you get done with that video be sure to give it a good a give me the old fonzie all that stuff helps and then of course share this thing if you know some people that could benefit from this and they haven't seen the channel yet go on share it to them and be sure to check out my teespring store where you get the shirts and the mugs you know we got the mugs i'll just show you the mug got my cold coffee in it we got the shirts and i'm gonna show you a shirt come here here's my model get, get rid of your wubby here there you go, Felix. Show him the shirt. See that? He's sporting his model car hobby headquarters shirt. So should you. Thank you, Felix. You're a great sport. Thank you, buddy. All righty. Thank you all for watching. And you know what we say over here. Keep gluing those fingers together. And keep cutting that styrene. And we will see you in the next video. I got that done. Ta-da! See? He's a member, too. He's a model car. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh. Did I even have this on? I bet you I did. Did I? Did I have it on? Sometimes I don't put... Oh, I had it on. Thank goodness. I didn't want to redo that again. I never can make lightning strike twice. Boy, I hope I have some good... Eh, troubles. All right. We're out of here. I'm going to shut this thing... Ha <laughs> <laughs>